Welcome to our exhilarating 4D adventure, where we'll brave the untamed River Dee in Scotland. Born in the majestic Kerngore Mountains at an elevation above 4,000 feet, the Dee spans 145 kilometers before meeting the North Sea at Aberdeen. As we embark on this thrilling journey, we'll conquer over 100 kilometers of wild waters and face heart-pounding class 3 rapids. We'll push our limits, level up and test our spirit against the relentless force of the River Dee. This intense expedition is not for the faint of heart. Despite the challenges, we'll find comfort in cozy campsites, indulge in soul-warming food, and immerse ourselves in the breathtaking scenery that surround us. As a first-timer tackling Class 3 Rapids, I can promise you an adrenaline-fueled, unforgettable experience. Prepare to battle strong headwinds and navigate through dark, cloudy, cold days as we embrace every part of this incredible adventure. Are you ready to take on the mighty River D? Keep your eyes peeled for the rich fauna and flora along the way, including deer, herons, and skunk cabbages. Join us on this pulse-pounding, awe-inspiring journey as we conquer the wild River D and create memories that will last a lifetime. Let the adventure begin! What's up guys, welcome to another adventure. We're here in beautiful Scotland. As you can tell from the fantastic weather, we are on the River Dee, the Royal Dee that is. We're gonna do 100 kilometers in about three, four nights. We're gonna run some class trees and do some camping and enjoy being here in the outdoors. So stay tuned and enjoy the adventure, guys. I'll beat you if I went there. Huh? I'll beat you if I went there. I'll just never come out again. Ooh. I tried to do that last bit back then. Are you going there? I'm See going. Me. I'm going this way. <laughs> See you later, bud. Polly, <laughs> you chose the wrong lane. You lose.
weird deer fence going. Here we go. That works. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we got our first class three coming up, end of the day. A little bit tired, a little bit weary, so definitely gonna scout this one and then look for a camp after this. Let's go. I'll pull you guys in if you want. This is quite a hairy one here. Again, you're gonna have to get yourself to the river right. Yeah. Okay. So far, we have a, a pretty good line up to this point. Two kind of sections put together with some moves, and uh, we're gonna see, I think, what looks to be the, the final stretch of this going below the bridge and uh, making sure we have a clear line. So let's check it out. Well, time to run it. We're gonna split it up into two. Run the first bit and um, eddy out and reassess. Late in the day, it's almost, it's already 7 p.m. But no place to camp, so we're gonna continue on and uh, do the best we can on this rapids. Let's go. Hairy guys, I was hairy, but we did it. Um, it's turning out to be a beautiful evening now. It's almost uh, eight o'clock. Got the snow peaked mountains in the background. We had a rainbow just a couple minutes ago. 
evening is turning beautiful so good to be here let's find the campsite and let's enjoy the night well guys this is home luckily no more rapids for the day <laughs> oh boy. Should work. Well guys, quarter to 10, so late one, I'm just gonna have a quick dehydrated meal, some chili stew with beans, and uh, yeah, just pour some boiling water in there. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. Try not to burn yourself while you're at it. Lovely. We've all donated our meals to Paul, basically. No one likes our food today, and Paul's just taking them all. Yeah. Right, cut, man. Come on. Yeah. Man. <laughs> 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 I know someone to say something really insightful. Yeah. comes the rain. All right guys, good morning, we're ready to go. Had a good breakfast, had some very much needed sleep. As always guys treat these beautiful areas with respect we all want to enjoy them and find them in a good state so no rubbish no traces the way it should be
getting a bit of win today guys so got to watch that in terms of running the rapids and make sure we have good control and shallow rapids but pretty rocky so gotta watch out rock here as well little one That's what I'm talking about. Sick, amazing. Right after we finished that class three rapid, uh, we weren't wearing a helmet. We didn't realize it just came and uh, we got in the flow of it. Got the helmet on now and uh, in anticipation of whatever comes. Windy, rainy and sunny at the same time. Getting everything at once now. Wow. High bank over here. Amazing. Gonna take a little break and have some lunch guys and get a coffee and continue on. Alright guys, back on the river now, it's about 1 p.m. Got another 15 kilometers to go today, so a few hours. We're gonna find the campsite for tonight. Yeah. 
Turning into a rescue mission, we're gonna go rescue Fred. Took the wrong line there, gotta to stick to the right. Oh, come on, get out of there. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I've just seen Fred, he looks alright. This river keeps humbling us. It's not an easy one, guys. There's a lot of rocks, a lot of chances to pin the canoe, a lot of chances to get off course, and gotta be well careful. You all right, Fred? Are you all right? Sorry I didn't come to the rescue before. Not much we could do, I figured. That, that turned nasty, man. So beautiful here, wow. Feels feels so wild gorgeous trees and amazing what a beautiful bit river is absolutely beautiful but you definitely need to treat them with respect because the likelihood of going swimming is quite high to the boat now we've been uh, paddling in this strong wind for quite a while and it's been really cloudy and a bit of rain so we're all really cold oh no the wind son of a wind 
Alright guys, about 5 o'clock, we're exhausted, super cold, if we were to go in the water now, situation could turn quite bad, so time to stop. It's been a super long day, we covered probably around 45 kilometers of river today, so a long day on the river. Got camp ready, changed into warm clothes, that's a nice feeling, and I'm um, super hungry, so keen to get cooking, but before I do, I'll show you camp, here it is. Alright guys, so we're moving the fire. We made a really, really solid base with uh, big, big stones, flat rocks, and we filled in the gaps with sand and other little rocks as well. And then we'll clean it up tomorrow, make sure we leave no trace. But this will allow us to have a little bit of a bigger fire and uh, for this man over here to cook us a uh, beautiful banana bread. <laughs> it's not very interesting. <laughs> it's about five minutes. Yeah, it is actually. Not the, the spoon doesn't make the best whiskey. Banana bread in the making. I might actually break, smooth this down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, sure. Spray. I think it's going to be too much. Too much repeat. Crispy on the base. That's fine. By crispy, I mean burnt. 
<laughs> Just a clever. Oh no, it's really burnt. Oh boy. Oh yeah. There you go. That's fine. It's all it's right. Perfect, man. What's yeah, wrong with that? Perfect. Yeah. It's Just perfect. don't look at that bit that's left in there. Look at that, man. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's a bit close, but mm -hmm. the, the wind is this way, so don't worry. Oh, you, dude, the wastage. That's so good, buddy. Thanks, bud. All tucked into bed, guys. It's an absolutely amazing day, super eventful, and looking forward to more adventure tomorrow. See you in a bit, guys. Well, that's it for camp. I have left as little of a trace as possible. Ready to head to the water now, cover some distance and uh, run some rapids. Let's do it. All right, guys, new day, new adventure. decision in terms of safety in terms of management horrified with that decision that I made just not to scout it I thought I could just run it very substantial rapid that required a lot more attention than I gave it lucky to get away with it big boulders in the way more attention more respect man not the way to do it guys I'm a bit ashamed Okay, for a campsite. Yeah. Yeah, no, man. What's the. Uh, oh, hello. It'll be. <laughs> Don't say anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright guys, back on the river, we still got quite a lot of distance to cover, it's around 2 p.m. Had a bit of a late start today, so I think we got to cover at least maybe another 15k today. So, chilly again, cloudy day, haven't really had much sun, that's okay, at least it's been dry. So, onwards and upwards. Guys, we are approaching Potarge, some great class 3 rapids coming up. Yeah, we're gonna have to scout this one for sure. Let's see what it's looking like. That was pretty good, but there was a submerged rock just before that we hadn't seen when we scouted, so... <laughs> there you go, buddy. Hey! <laughs> Did you take that? Yes, the sun just came out for a one minute. Thank you. After three days, after three days, this is the most sunshine we've had. <laughs> and blue sky ahead as well. Things are looking good, except the wind, but that's okay. I'm gonna find a place to camp, guys. It's time. All right, guys, 6 p.m. We're still looking for a campsite. We've scoped out this area, but it was a bust. So we're gonna gamble. In the next five minutes, we're gonna know if we have a campsite or if we're kind of screwed, so. Well, the gamble didn't pay off at all. It's a complete bust. It's worse than the place we had before. We're a bit desperate for a campsite. Alright guys, we made it to camp. Little spot that we found finally. It's 
almost 8 p.m. We are uh, scrambling to get set up and to cook at the same time. We're really hungry. It's been a long day, but a wonderful day. Let's set up camp and get some food on. Let's go. this Fred? It's potato and spinach curry. Yummy. Korma. Oh man. Thank you for cooking that. Oops. It's gonna last about 40 seconds on my plate I reckon. Mm. Oh, geez, <laughs> Not too foggy. It's alright. Yummy man. I think we've earned it, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh wow. <laughs> Epic fail, man. <laughs> Go ahead, run on you, that's a big one. Slap. To your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like right there, man. I'm right there, dude. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that, concludes, that concludes our service. <laughs> Tune in next time. Well, very good morning guys, we're on our way. We have still 37, 38 kilometers left of beautiful river. We've been welcomed this morning with a beautiful sunshine. So spirits are high. Next rapid is Invercold, it's a class three also. Uh, two minutes in and we're gonna scout the rapid. It um, looks pretty good, looks easy, but it's around the bend and uh, can't really see the full extent of it. So quick, quick inspection and we'll be on our way. Yeah, nothing major guys. We're gonna take the river right route over this. It's gonna be nice, nice and uh, bouncy. And uh, make sure we hit that V over there. Definitely helmet for this one. What kind of water, you guys? I'm gonna bail out here. Well, one more rapid to scout. Looks all right, but you know what? Just make sure that we have a clear line. Yeah, it's quite a decent rapid actually, so warrants inspection.
Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Sweet. That was sweet, man. Absolutely beautiful, guys. A bit of sunshine, a light breeze. Beautiful. Just waiting for uh, Polly to come. What a slow guy. strong headwind now it's gonna be a bit of a slog this bit so just get on with it Stop now or what? Yeah, it's quite nice and it's sunny. All right, let's do it. Mayfly season is already upon us, guys. <laughs> it does make sense, it is May. guys let's go Quite a few strainers there, huh? Just came to explore this island, see what it looks like. All these pieces of wood and trees were dragged in when the river was in flood at some point, probably about two meters above the current level. So you can imagine the force of the river, all this dragging, power of mother nature. This big Douglas fir, have a look at the roots. The river washed out the soil underneath the roots and then exposed the roots. Look at the size of the roots. It's about a foot in diameter. Amazing. Big tree. We're going to try and push on a bit and uh, we've eyed up uh, another island, another eight kilometers downstream, which should put us in uh, shooting distance for tomorrow to get to Aberdeen. Squeeze him! Squeeze him out! 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 Squeeze
Give me your money, give me your money. Give me your money. <laughs> There's the canoe, man. There's the canoe, man. Well, it looks like we made it to the island where we intend to camp tonight. The, ch the river splits into two. Here on the right and on the left. We're gonna try the left side. See what we can find for a camping spot. Oh dear. Let's have a look, eh? This is the back side of the better, isn't it? Well, we're gonna try uh, go a little bit further downstream and see if the same island holds a better spot. Should be nice around the back side. I hope so. Yeah, we ain't got the full front of all the water. Yeah, yeah. Plant education with When Nature Pulse. So this, I just learned, guys, is... See this ridge down the middle? Or this leaf? See on the bottom, really prominent. You can see it on the bottom. It's ramsons. And the leaves are edible. The, even the little flower buds are edible. Sometimes people pickle them. Uh, the best bit, and if you can get it, is when you pull it from the bottom and mm. it snaps off. And this little white little bit here. It's very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a really refreshing garlic. And then here we've got Palearia petiolata as well, which is garlic mustard. Mm. And these leaves are also edible. It's not as strong tasting, uh, but it is nice. Also go by his name of Jack by the Hedge. Well guys, getting to about 5.30 p.m. and we've moved on. Trying to look for something else. The campsite isn't quite there. Running out of options, but we'll keep pushing downstream and hopefully we'll find something. Uh, no campsite yet. At this stage, we might uh, just finish the whole lot, the whole 100 kilometers soon. So we'll see what happens. I'm well, just passing a bridge, guys. What looks to be an old wooden bridge. And look at that, that's a piece of driftwood right there. About four meters above the current level now. So you can imagine how devastating a flood of that range could be. And just like that, our 105 kilometer four day canoe trip was coming to an end. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Where is there? Where exactly are we rushing to go? <laughs> Echo! The air is bringing in that, that breeze from the sea and we can smell that salty sea smell. Good to be here. Here we were, approaching the finish line. What an anticlimax. But then again, it's never about the finish line or the destination. It's the journey itself that is the adventure, and what a journey it was. Overflowing with gratefulness for the amazing experiences along the way, I left fully content. <laughs>